Welcome to my channel on technology and startups. If you're curious about the future of education, community building, and startups, this short episode is for you. We'll discuss OnDeck and their journey to build the Stanford for the Internet. OnDeck raised $20 million to create the education institution for the future of work, and they launched a $100 million community-backed fund to invest in early-stage startups. I'll also share my own personal experience with OnDeck Angels, their program designed to help founders and operators become successful angel investors. Before deep diving into OnDeck, let's start with the current state of education in universities. Firstly, there seems to be a skills disconnection between what's taught in schools and what's required by employers. Secondly, the cost of education is skyrocketing. In other words, you pay more for same or worse services. There is a much longer story behind this graph, but one of the reasons is that the education sector has not yet seen enough technological innovation to drive productivity. Yes, edtech has been growing lately, but it has not changed the fundamentals of formal education. And universities are a big contributor to the rising costs, so let's unbundle the services they provide. If you think of any top university, they offer three things. Great curriculum, strong community and network, and credential and status signaling. The last one being a function of the first two, and I would argue the most powerful differentiator. OnDeck tries to replicate similar services online, at scale, and with the help of technology. They are building two things, a new approach to online education and a very strong community. Moreover, they also have a smart approach about credentials. Let's start unpacking the first two. Instead of choosing the typical MOOC approach, the massive open online courses, which has very low completion rates, OnDeck has a cohort-based learning approach with up to 100 individuals per group and a strong emphasis on peer-to-peer -peer learning. In the cohort-based approach, the learners advance through an educational program together, similar as in school. They also offer a wide range of programs for many audiences. Founders, from helping them start a company, including with investment, to the scaling process, investors, I'll share in a few minutes info about the angel investor one that I recently attended, professionals, data science, product management, marketing, design, and many others, and sector-based, health, climate, fintech, and others. The courses are eight to 10 weeks long, the speakers are usually experienced professionals, and upon graduation, you join the on-deck community. Which brings us to the second point, the strong community. Scaling communities is very challenging, and they believe they found the right solution with a mix of three things, a small and intimate cohort, like a class approach, which is part of a broader, aligned sub-community, the program, which is connected into a larger ecosystem, similar to a real-life campus. What's really interesting is that each new program contributes with a specific supply that meets an existing demand within the network. Founders find employees and funding, investors find new startups, professionals find new job opportunities, and so on. As an example, they just launched the $100 million fund to invest in founders. This program connects with several other programs. Previous OnDeck founders can apply for this money. Professionals such as designers or engineers can join or consult with the newly funded startups. The founders can already find some early customers in other programs while raising additional money from the investors that are part of the OnDeck Angels program. Credentials and status signaling are harder to build because it takes a longer time. And as I mentioned before, it's usually a function of the first two. But they're on the right track by partnering with top recognized VC funds, great entrepreneurs, and successful startups. Their community is starting to signal the on-deck experience on Twitter, LinkedIn, in their CVs, which not only promotes the program, but depending on the success and the influence of the members, it raises on-deck status through public testimonials. How was my experience with on-deck angels? I graduated their last angel investors cohort, ODA5, in December. ODA's mission is to help people level up, connect, and invest with top operator angels. And it offers investor education, peer-to-peer -peer support, and access to community. Regarding education, I've already been angel investing as part of the Access Starters program, which meant that I was familiar with most of the content. Nevertheless, I still really enjoyed a few of the sessions where we discussed how to assess opportunities, structure different deals, think about portfolio allocations, and many more. Special kudos to Sam, the program director. The educational part also includes guest speaker, my favorite one being Sunil Pai from AngelList. Second, peer-to-peer -peer support. OnDeck offers several opportunities to engage with your colleagues, share investing experiences, and learn from each other. 
Unfortunately for me, it was an extremely busy period at work, so I did not get the chance to take advantage of all initiatives, but overall, they really invest effort into networking activities. And last but not least is access to the bigger community. Once you join the program, you become part of the on-deck community, which give you access to participants from other programs, deal flow, broader social and networking experiences, and many others. I'm actually quite impressed with the Slack community, which is extremely active. There are many deals posted daily, lots of people sharing their experiences, and the members are supportive and open in general. I would say it's a very well curated network. This particular program, the Angel Investor one, is around five to six weeks, requires an investment of two to four hours per week. It costs $5,000. This fee co uh, covers actually scholarship for founders program and is only for accredited investors. I don't have feedback on other programs for founders or professionals, but if you search for OnDeck on Twitter or LinkedIn, you'll find alumni happy to share their experiences. I believe the future of education is about building communities, involving industry experts as speakers and mentors, and leveraging technology as much as possible to make it affordable and scalable. OnDeck is definitely on the right track, and I hope they'll achieve their vision. Someone said that they are replicating the Silicon Valley network in the cloud, and I agree with this statement. There are many interesting things about them and about disrupting education that I did not cover. So if you're interested to learn more, I suggest you read their Series A memo. You can find the link in the description. Thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed it.